Hey guys, how it's going? Welcome back to another video. Bless up to all of my viewers and subscribers. So in today's video, we're gonna continue from part one of the part one of the pillow. We're gonna continue with the wall. So today we're gonna lay some bricks. So here, guys, basically what I'm doing right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm trying to, I'm gonna put the level from the line from here. And run it all the way down to this post down here. You're gonna come down here. Okay. So we're trying to catch the level of that column. We're gonna hold this right here. I'm so far down to this. Once we catch our level, we're gonna take the whole measurement down to get the same, the same height as this column down there and work our way up. Right there. So reason for this guys because we're not sure if the foundation is level. So we want to take our measurement from the top of the column because we already have this column here laid. So we're going to take the measurement from the top of the column down and then work our way up. So we get the same level, the, 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 the same um, height of the column go all across. So now what we want to do here, now we want to measure our column. So our column is five, five feet, one inches and three quarter. Five feet, one inches and... So we got to take our measurement from the top. So what's going to happen now guys? We take our measurement from, from here down and right where you see the brick is low down, that's where the level is. So what we're gonna have to do now, we're gonna have to have an extra coast down there. So we work our way up to the level of, of, of the line. So afterwards, all of the column gonna, gonna fall under the same, it's gonna come on the same level, but that one, that um, column gonna have one more coast than this one. That's the only way you can get everything to line up. But once you check it like this, once you, you catch a level line like this, this is the best way to catch it to get all of your column on the same level. You want to transfer all of the mark on each one of the posts. So this you want to do like so. We know this is the top of our column that's going to go here. So this one. This one you want to go with the same measurement as that one down there, which is five feet one inches and three quarter. That's the level of our column. This is all mark. This one need to come right here. This one we gotta catch the same. We'll transfer a mark on this one the same way. Five feet one inches and three quarter. So this one is perfect where it is now. This one is right where it's supposed to be. Same level with that one. But the one here is on a level. So we want all of our column to fall on the same level. So we have to catch this one up. Put, um... So here, so I have the line here. I, I take a mark right here. And I measure down from this mark to the bottom. And it's the same measurement as this column here that I have. So you always want to take your measurement from the top down. That way you can know whether or not you need to put a cut brick down at the bottom. So here I catch my mark on the post. And then I take the measurement down. As you see the mark is right here. So now we got to put this brick right here. So we know, we know that here we're going to have one extra post than that column that we have down there. Down here is the same thing. So this is our mark. We take our measurement down from this mark and then it fall right here. So, you know, it's always good to do it this way whenever you're doing like a whole bunch of column at once. This way you know whether or not, because you're not sure if the foundation is 100% accurate. So basically we're gonna, we're gonna catch, this is it now. So we have to work from here up. So 
what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to, to square it to have all of the column line up and, and look straight. We're gonna catch our first one here now. Guys, make sure it's square as well. So as you see guys, I, I'm right at my level right now. So that's the level where, remember we take our measurement down from the top. So I'm right on the level right now. So now we're gonna work with our normal size joint. Um, a, a zero joint, come all the way up. Across. This is the same way as plumb it because you can't plumb in the middle because we have all type of Again, we're gonna plumb it like so the same result if you keep on doing this you do you might don't have to go with your level every every course here every now and again you need to just come and touch it up a little bit
Hey guys, if you're getting value from this video, give it a thumbs up. Hey guys, if you're getting value from this video, give it a thumbs up. And again, those brick ties is what we're going to use to tie in the block wall that we're going to have here. So you want to put a brick tie or two as you go along. You want to space them the same height as the size of the block that you're going to use. Uh, we finish, so we finish all four columns here now. We still have the, the partition wall to go in the middle here. We're going to do that out of block. So stay tuned for that video and if you want to see that video when I'm doing the block feel free to subscribe the one at the bottom there and um, if you find value from the video give it a like I'll truly appreciate that as well and if you're interested to see the first part there's a part one of this video where I did the first column I got a bit more um, depth in details I have a link to that down in the description and up top um, should be up top there part one of this um, 
column slash pier um, that we're doing here. Until then guys, see you. Have a good one. Take care.